and useless massacres. Listen to the pleas that rise to you from the whole church playing with Mary, the queen of peace. Send forth your spirit of unity and peace, of love and harmony on the governments of all the nations so that the long announcement may reach our borders of us. The war is finished. Just as the gift that God and humanity together have given me and continue to give me is free and without measure, so must be the gift that I give to God and to humanity. It is not a self-emptying and complete loss, but on the contrary, a sharing with others what I possess through grace. The heart is full, and therefore it gives. The fuller it is, the more it gives. The more it gives, the more it is filled up. It does not give itself, it gives God. Grace corresponding to the love that is given. Grace. Yours is an exalting mission, but also demanding. You need a grand soul. You need an ardent spirit. You need a burning heart to live accordingly to the mission of the Church of our days, which submits challenges so radical to Christ and to His Gospel, if mediocrity, tiredness, resignation have never been bared in the life of the Church, always called to be renewed, nevertheless, they can be bared today. Open widely your hands to give truly all that you are able to your brothers and your sisters in need. Do not fear. Be each of you new and untiring artist of the charity of Christ. I am here to recommend to you to believe strongly in your vocation. Love with your whole being your consecration. I ask you to reaffirm God in today's society, to proclaim the preeminence of the Lord over every reality, to witness with your life your faith in the supreme and eternal values, to enable man to rediscover his dignity and responsibility, to reveal the full relevance of the Beatitudes, all its simplicity, in the humility, in the indescribable joy of a life having been gifted.